Hi, my name is Joanna from Jush Designs. I'm here to help you level up your digital communication when it comes to creating how-to guides or standard operating procedures. Artificial intelligence is completely changing how we write and document processes. As a document writer, I would spend hours manually taking screenshots and writing instructions. And as you can see, the process involved to document step-by-step -step instruction is very time consuming. Today, I'm gonna to walk through how to create easy standard operating procedures or how-to guides like a pro that will boost efficiency within an organization and increase transfer knowledge across teams. With Scribe, creating standard operating procedures has never been easier. It's a powerful tool that uses AI to automatically generate detailed step-by-step -step instructions based on the actions that you perform on your computer. There's a free version available for you to try out as well as paid version as well. I'll put a link in the description for you to check out. Okay, so let's just log into my account and we'll run through a demo. Once you're logged in, you'll find yourself on the dashboard and this is where the magic happens. Over on the left, you'll see the main navigation panel to help you quickly find what you're after. In the middle section, it'll give you a summary of the how-to guides you've recently created, if any, ability to view history, as well as summary on key stats around your SOPs. To create a new how-to guide, start by clicking on the new button here on the top right-hand side. If you'd like to learn more about how to capture processes on your desktop or a mobile device, be sure to subscribe to my channel and I'll add these in the future video. So let's begin. Before we record the process on the web browser, just make sure you open up the web link onto your computer and close out any application that's not relevant to the process. Okay, so let's go back and hit new and hit browser. So here you need to select the web browser that you want to record. Just keep in mind that once you click on the link, Scribe will automatically start to record the process. So in this example, I'm gonna select Outlook on the web Alternatively, you can download the Chrome extension, which makes it a little bit easier for you to start and stop your recording. Okay, so let's just open up Outlook on the web. So when you're ready to record the process on your web browser, just hit Start Capture. So in this example, I'm gonna show you how to create an other office email in Outlook on the web. So we're just gonna hit Start Capture to record the process. So all we need to do now is complete the process as if we were showing someone how to complete the task and Scribe will automatically capture the process. So in this example, I'm gonna create an other office email in Outlook. If you'd like to check out a more detailed video on how to complete this task, I'll put a link in the description below for you to check out. But for the purpose of this video, I'll just fast track this process. Okay, now once we've completed the process, you just need to go back into your Chrome extension and just click stop here, and this will automatically stop the recording. So as you can see, Scribe has automatically generated at least a first draft of your how-to guide. It includes a title, some instructions, as well as visual aid to assist the reader perform this particular task. Now over on the right hand side, you notice that there's this panel here that you can see. This gives you additional editing capabilities so you can actually modify your standard operating procedures as needed. But as you can already see, Scribe is definitely a powerful tool that uses AI to automatically generate detailed step-by-step -step instructions based on the actions that you perform on your computer. It's really a game changer for business looking to boost their productivity as well as streamline transfer of knowledge across teams. Okay, so let's just now focus on some of the editing feature. Scribe has automatically generated a title here that you can see. Now, just to provide more context, we just wanna edit this just to add a bit more clarity in terms of the Outlook version that we're referring to. So let's just edit this text just to provide a bit more clarity in terms of the task. Now, depending upon the actual task at hand, you can add a short description here. If you click on this button here, Scribe will give you two options. You can write the description yourself or allow AI to generate it for you. So let's hit AI generated and see what happens. And as you can see here, Scribe has automatically generated a detailed description, which gives a bit more context in terms of the task at hand. 
Now, given that the process of creating an out of office email in Outlook on the web is a relatively simple process, we actually don't really need this here. So let's just remove this for now. You can also change the instructions as well as the screenshot here. To edit the instructions, just click on the text and then type in your text. So with the screenshot itself, you can leave it as it is. However, my personal preference is just to focus on the task at hand. And you'll notice that there's a bit of noise around the actual screenshot itself, which can be distracting. So we just want to zoom in on this particular function here. To zoom in on the actual screenshot itself, just click on the plus icon here. Now you may have noticed that the circle has moved slightly. So to edit the actual location of the circle, just click on the pen tool here to edit the image and click on the pen tool again. This will bring up additional editing features. Now to change the location of the circle, just click on click target and then slightly adjust the location of the circle here. And then once you're done, just click done on the top right hand side. And there you have it. The circle is now moved to a more suitable location that guides the reader in terms of what buttons to click on. One of the other great features with Scribe is the ability to actually blur out some information that you may not want the reader to be able to see. So to activate this feature, just click on the pen tool again. And then select the redact tool. Now all you need to do is create a box or a rectangle over the area that you want to cover up or blur out and select done. And now if we go back into the standard operating procedure here, you can see here that the area is now blurred out so that the users won't be able to see this section. This is particularly helpful when you've got sensitive information such as email addresses or phone numbers that you don't want the reader to be able to see. You can use the blur out feature which definitely comes in handy when you're actually developing how-to guides. Now, if you've made a mistake along the way or there's duplicate steps, etc., you can actually delete a step if needed. To delete a step, just click on the bin icon here. Now, you notice that there's this pop-up message here just to let you know that if you hit the delete button, it will permanently be deleted. So just keep this in mind when you're actually using this feature. But for this particular purpose, we'll just cancel it here. Now there are additional features within Scribe that you can utilize to level up your standard operating procedures. But for the purpose of this video, I really just wanted to show you the basics of Scribe and how it can really transform how we document and streamline processes to ensure consistency and transfer of knowledge across teams. So when you're ready to share the how-to guide with the team, there are a number of ways that you can do this through Scribe. You can click on copy link and you can copy and paste the link into an email and you can share this with the teams. Alternatively, you can click on the share button here and this will give you additional options to be able to share your how-to guide. So here you'll be able to add in emails and send it directly to the email box. Alternatively, you can embed this onto a number of platforms such as SharePoint, your intranet, etc. Or you can actually export this as a PDF. So let's just click on export and see what this looks like. And here you can see Scribe has automatically exported the how-to guide as a PDF file, which gives you the ability to share this as an attachment in an email or other communication channels. I hope you enjoyed this video. In the next video, I'll go through a deep dive in terms of some of the additional editing features. So if you click on the link now, I'll catch you in the next video. Thanks for watching and I'll see you next time.